Okay, hi guys, we are back for the second video now. So, uh, we've had the kittens, <laughs> I'm climbing my leg as I'm talking. Uh, I've had the kittens now for a week. So this is week two, so seven week old kittens. Come on, go say hello. Come here, say hello. Ah, isn't she cute? Hello Daytona, give a wave. <laughs> uh, so, so this week uh, we've kind of uh, Slowly been introducing them to Squeaker. Squeaker's just hiding under my bed right now still, but she's got a lot of bed with them. So for the first week, uh, I kept them separate. So I had them in the spare bedroom and Squeaker could run the house. And then I, I swapped it over. Basically, let the Squeaker get to... Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> Keeps on interrupting me. Uh, so Squeaker could kind of smell them through the door. They got a bit used to each other. At first, there was a lot of hissing. So in the first, I don't know, four days when they kind of met each other, there was quite a bit of hissing going around. And uh, she's come back again. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, look at her. Isn't she, isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? Um, yeah, quite a bit of hissing. Just took them a while to get to know each other. Squeaker again is uh, was a rescue cat and again painfully shy. Uh, this morning I saw them and uh, they were all they were all sleeping on my bed uh, together, which is really sweet. Nice to see them kind of integrating with one another too. Um, we also created a uh, Facebook page for the guys, so if you don't follow us on Facebook, uh, Facebook page. Okay, pause. We do not have a Facebook page. Sorry, I was distracted. It's an Instagram page we have, an Instagram page. Uh, we also uh, created uh, an Instagram page for the guys. Um, I've got both of them on my knee now. Uh, so if you don't follow us on Instagram, here is the uh, link, here's the page. It is at Daytona underscore Phantom. Um, so yeah, this week, this video here is going to see show you them basically having a bit of fun around the house. They got used to my balcony, so behind me I've got a balcony, and uh, it, it's meshed, it's meshed in. It's got a mosquito net, so they can't go anywhere. But just getting them used to that, so they can go outdoors as well. A little bit more space for them, to be honest with you. And uh, they quite like it. I've got two rocking chairs outside. So uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> So uh, they like quite like to sit in the rocking chair and me give them a little, little push. Um, but yeah, they're coming on leaps and bounds. And again, they're really helping Squeaker here too. Uh, come on, can you make it? Careful, careful. Uh, yeah, really helping uh, Squeaker out with uh, bringing her out of her shell, to be honest. And it's lovely to see. They're doing, uh, doing great, living the house. They're getting bigger. Uh, they're getting more used to uh, the property as well. So at first it was so like curiosity they were so curious, wanted to find every space out, and uh, one second, let me just uh, get this guy off the table. Come here. Come here. This one, this one here, trouble. Troublemaker, aren't ya? Oh. So yeah, so, the first week, they were getting to know the house, getting to know the cat, getting to know the smells. So very, very curious, guys. At the moment, they, they have, let them have the run of the apartment, you know. When I go out, I do sometimes still put them back in that bed bedroom just so they can't get stuck under anywhere that I'm not supervising. The fridge is one thing, I've put like a little runner down for the fridge, but uh, yeah. Um, also, I bought this, let me show you what I bought. So I've got this, basically to do some green screen effects. Now this is something I did with another cat, this video right here. Now as you can see, I've made the cat, obviously I super enlarged the cat, and made it looking like it was in my bedroom. Um, let me see this. I mean, guys, I'm trying to do a, trying to interview myself here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically I've got a green screen. So I'm gonna do some green screen work with them as well. Make some funny videos, put them into like uh, some movie scenes. I'm gonna, I think that's gonna be the next video and God knows how hard that's gonna be. Because unless they're tired, it's hard for them to sit still. But anyhow, here's this video and uh, enjoy. Okay, so uh, again, as I said earlier, I said they've been coming outside with me. This is Phantom here. So Phantom, a bit more curious, he comes out first, kind of watching the little kingdom. Now, Daytona will come up. Now, you have no idea how painful this is when she climbs my leg with the claws. That really, really kills. I'm playing cool right now, but it, it hurts. <laughs> But uh, they settle very well, especially when they're together. So uh, they'll sit on my lap. They like, they like it, you know. They feel a bit, you know, safe, I guess, when they're around me. So uh, they'll fall asleep pretty easy in my company. 
this was last night. So uh, obviously we've got some more toys. So I've integrated them playing. Now look how close uh, Squeaker is uh, to the guys. Now she's getting, again, she's accepting them more and more. They still stress her out a little bit, but uh, yeah, she's a very sweet cat. And uh, you know, uh, they're bringing her out of a shell, as I did say, and uh, if not. By the way, this guy, if you ever want a feather destroyed, this is your man. He'll kill all feathers in your house. Not a problem at all. <laughs> little phantom. Very cute little boy. Very, very cute. Now this guy, uh, this is the brother and sister of the Tony and Phantom. I had him in my house for a couple of hours. He's very, very cute. Uh, he was going to my friend Destiny, so I took him over when she finished work. But uh, it was nice to have all three. And again, he was very, very sweet. These two get anywhere. So I've decided to move these chairs from my table because that, that's quite a high table. And uh, it's a big drop for them. Look how cute she is when she sleeps. Sleeps with her tongue out. This is little Daytona. She sleeps with her tongue out, which is very sweet. Okay, ignore, ignore what I look like because I've just woken up, but uh, this is a usual morning routine for me. Uh, if I leave my door open, this is little Daytona, the little girl, so she'll come up to me and uh, she'll rub her face against mine and uh, lick my nose. For some reason, likes licking my nose and uh, rubs her body against mine as well, basically to wake me up. Now, I have to remind her, this was 7 a.m. Like, it's far too early for me to be waking up at this time, so uh, she needs to learn a bit. <laughs> Here, so what I've decided to do at the moment, so we've got a mixture of uh, this dry kitten food for them. Obviously, it probably helps them with their teeth because it's, uh, you know, it's crunchy, dry kitten food designed for kittens. But I like to cook them up some chicken, so I'm just cooking up some chicken here, just currently in water, just boiling it to get it really soft. And then I've added gravy and a little bit of tomato, uh, tomato, I don't know why I said tomato. I've been in America far too long to say tomato. Um, it's tomato and uh, a bit of gravy mush it up and I've let it cool down They seem to love this so I put it uh, This little mixture with their dry food. I didn't want to keep buying processed food for them I thought if I'm making food then I can make some for them So uh, once they've had this you know once they eat generally they do go to sleep um, Cats are quite good with the with the diet. They eat when they want to eat so so you know it's not like a dog where they'll just scoff the whole thing down. So, uh, as I say, once they get tired, they go to bed. I've bought three beds. I've got one bed in the living room, one bed in my bedroom, one bed in the cat room. But they prefer to sleep here and here. <laughs> now, this guy, he's feeling a bit sleepy at the moment, so you can see. So, uh, give it like 20 more seconds and he will be out like a light. It's fantastic. See, out like a light. <laughs> so very sweet. Now, uh, what I usually do is once once they go to sleep, I'll move them, put them next to each other. Because I can't sit down all day with them on my lap. I've got things to do. Um, so I'll move them to each other. Because they obviously want to be around someone. I guess that's why they sleep on my lap. But uh, yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is basically week number... Uh, two of the kittens, so seven weeks old. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please like the video, subscribe if you want to watch more, and uh, stay tuned for further updates of Daytona and Phantom. And once again, thank you so much for watching.